Good day children. Today in this video we will see the story Engine Trouble. Introduction Engine Trouble is a short story written by R. K. Narayanan. The story depicts the troubles of a common man after winning a road engine as a lottery prize. So in this story we will learn what will happen to a common man or a middle class man if he wins a road engine. Yes. There came the Gaiti land in a town of the talkative man. Gaiti land refers to the land which is very uh, joyful and cheer, like trade fair. Yes, that is called as Gaiti land. It provided them with all sorts of fun and gambling and side shows. There was the doom of death. Doom of death means is a circus and carnival stunt where stunt riders ride motorcycles inside a mesh sphere ball. It is similar to the wall of death. That's why we call it as doom of death and the lottery stall. So the man bought a ticket of lottery number 1005 and he was declared the winner that day and become the owner of the road engine. His friends congratulated him for becoming the owner of the road engine. The showman agreed to keep the engine on the Gymkhana grounds till the end of their season. So the uh, showman, he agreed to keep the road engine till the end of their season. So what happened next? His friends congratulated him for becoming the owner of a road engine. The showman agreed to keep the engine on the Gymkhana grounds till the end of their season. So what happened after he won the road engine? His friends con congratulated him and the showman, he also agreed to keep the engine on the Gymkhana grounds uh, till the end of their season. What happened next? Every day, I made a trip to the Gymkhana grounds to have a look at my engine. I grew very fond of it. I loved its shining brass parts. I stood near it and patted it affectionately. Hovered about it. Hovered means stayed close to it. And written home every day only at the close of the show. I was a poor man. I thought that my troubles were coming to an end. So that he, thought, he, uh, he says that he is a poor man. And he thought that his troubles will come to an end if he sell this road engine to a good price. But what happened? How ignorant we are. How little did I guess that my troubles had just begun. So how little I was, how did I guess like this that my troubles had go gone but it has just begun. So then when the showman took down his boots and packed up, I received a notice from the municipality to attend to my road engine. When I went there the next day, it looked forlorn and sad. It's forlorn means sad, okay, with no one about. The showman had moved on leaving the, road, uh, leaving the engine where it stood. It was perfectly safe anywhere. So what happened? How did his uh, bad uh, time started when the showman took uh, down his boots and packed up and he received a notice from municipality to attend to his uh, road engine that is to take away his road engine, road engine. When I went there the next day it looked forlorn that is the engine was looking um, the uh, road engine was looking so sad without no one about it. And the showman had moved on, leaving the engine where it stood. It was perfectly safe anyway. So what happened next? When the showman took down his boots and packed up, I received a notice from the municipality to attend to my road engine. When I went there the next day, it looked forlorn. Forlorn means sad. It was looking sad. The road engine was looking sad with no one about. There was no one to take care of it. 
the showman had moved on, leaving the engine where it stood. It was perfectly safe anyway. I went for a few days, not knowing what to do with it, because he was a middle class man. He was actually poor. So, what will he do with a road engine? Yes, so he didn't know what to do with it. I received a notice from the municipality ordering that the engine should at once be removed from the grounds as otherwise they would charge rent for the occupation of the Gymkhana grounds. So what happened? The municipality gave an order, it should be removed right now itself, otherwise pay for your road engine because it is there in their ground. After deep thought, I consented to pay the rent. And I paid 10 rupees a month for the next 3 months. So what happened? After a deep thought, he agreed to pay the rent and I paid and he paid 10 rupees for each month. And he's saying that I was a poor man, even the house which I and my wife occupied cost me only 4 rupees a month, not 10 rupees. 10 rupees is a big amount for me.